Look, y'all. I'm all about my SPF, I'm all about her. But when it comes to these certain mineral sunscreens that tell you lies and deceit, and when you gotta go outside, I don't look cute. I don't look presentable. I look ashy. I look like that I have just no skincare regimen, okay? What is poppin' beautiful people and welcome to Terrell Tries. I'm your host, Terrell Britton, and I have brought on Carly from the Mixed Makeup Team. And today, we are gonna be talking about three mineral sunscreens that we have both tried out. As you know, mineral sunscreens can be really, really tricky. So we're gonna see what works for both of us. So let's get into it. Carly, what is a mineral sunscreen? Mineral sunscreens are exactly what they sound like. They're sunscreens that use mineral ingredients. They're also referred to as physical sunscreens or inorganic. Or we can talk about how mineral sunscreens look like cream cheese on your hands or how they're like notorious for leaving a white cast, for leaving like a thick layer on your skin, for making me feel like I'm clogging my pores. So that actually brings up a really interesting point. And I think before we get into the sunscreens, we should talk about the pros and cons of mineral sunscreens. Most definitely we should, yes. So let's start with the pros. So one of the pros for mineral sunscreens is that they seem to be less harmful for the coral reefs. And honestly, I'm all down for that, okay? Another pro that I really like is that they seem to be less irritating, especially for sensitive skin. I'm very sensitive, so oh. that's important to me. And you know what, actually, I'm gonna list one more pro. They're widely recommended by doctors, like widely recommended. Yeah, especially if you're breastfeeding, pregnant, or just for your kids. Gotta keep your skin protected. So let's go ahead and jump into some cons, okay? And one of mine's is that gray, purple looking cast that mineral sunscreens tend to leave behind, but that is due to formulation as well with the product. Yeah, mineral sunscreens are just, they're hard to formulate. They start off as a powder. So yes. I think it's, it's a lot to ask that they're not pasty. And they don't leave a white cast. In a perfect world, we would love for a mineral sunscreen to like look beautiful on all skin tones. Okay, so we're gonna get into the three mineral sunscreens that Carly and I have used and the rest of the mixed makeup team. So let's start with the Super Goop Sheer Screen right here. This has zinc oxide, and this is going to have 17.5% of that zinc oxide, uh -huh. which is pretty cool. I like this one because it is a cream medium consistency. It says lightweight cream texture, but I feel like it feels more of a medium-ish cream texture. I would say it feels like a light lotion. Okay. It's very smooth, it's very creamy, and it's very like comfortable to apply. I didn't feel like I was rubbing it all over my face. It really glides on the skin. Wasn't tugging or pulling because we don't like that. All right, Carly, so how did you feel about the Super Goop? I like this. I like this more than I thought I would. Same. It goes on super creamy, it's super smooth. Right. And at first you think that it's gonna leave a cast, and let's be honest, white cast is not really an issue for me. Ever. <laughs> I love the texture of this sunscreen. Of all three sunscreens that are in this video, this one has my favorite texture. So I do feel that it leaves a little bit of a layer on my skin, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it would stop me from using the sunscreen. Cause again, it just kind of feels like a light lotion. Under makeup, it's fine. I haven't tried like a full beat on top of it, full honesty, but like with brows and maybe just like a little bit mascara and like some concealer, it's fine. I found that it was very, very easy to like spread my skin. I wasn't tugging. I wasn't pulling. It was very nice. It was very easy application. It melts right in. So especially like for that deeper skin person, like if you feel like you're seeing that purple tint or like that gray or white tint, wait a couple of minutes. And I personally will tell you that it is going to warm up and it was just like disappearing. Your skin's going to be just looking healthy looking. I tend to be a person who leans for chemical sunscreen. Okay. I have acne prone skin normal to oily. It's a mental block for me where sometimes if I feel a layer on my skin, I feel like it's clogging my pores. Oh. So I tend to lean more either towards the combo or chemical. Okay. So this one, I definitely did feel a little bit of a layer on my skin, Okay. but not off-putting. It wasn't as much of a layer as I thought it would be. So I would definitely use this one again. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I like this particular layer because it did not feel heavy or greasy. So what did Anna think? One of my favorite things about this sunscreen is it smooths really easily across your skin. I feel like a lot of mineral sunscreens tend to feel a little bit pasty and it just kind of leaves your skin feeling a little bit icky. I would say this one has a very fluid-like texture. I think it's a really lovely sunscreen. It also smells like popcorn to me. 
I don't know if anyone else had that thought, but it has a really strong popcorn smell. I don't hate it. It's just, you know, if there's a, if people are wanting to know what it smells like, it smells like popcorn. It does have a very natural finish. It's not too glowy. It's not too greasy and it's not too matte. I tend to not really like things when they're too matte because I just feel like my skin just feels dry. If I were to pick out one thing I don't like about it, I would say my skin always feels a little bit sticky, but it's not too uncomfortable. Overall, way more pros than cons. I would recommend this sunscreen. So Susan tried it too. Let's give Super Goo Mineral Share Screen a try. I have already been playing with it a little bit in my hands and it feels like an amazing texture. This is what it looks like. So it looks pretty much like a lotion, like a cream. It's very light feeling. I like that. I can confirm it smells like popcorn. I don't think I mind. Let's put this on. It feels really nice on the skin, but for some reason, and I have seen people, even on my team, who have much darker skin than I do, say that this looks gorgeous on them, but for some reason on my skin tone, it gives me a white cast. That said, I believe in letting the sunscreen have some time. So I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. It has a white cast on me and I'm not really sure why on my skin tone because I've seen so many people with seemingly similar skin tones to mine say that they love this. And then obviously I've seen people with even darker skin than mine say that they love it as well. I think it just goes to show that everything in skincare, even sunscreens, it's just all really personal. It definitely has a nice hydrating, moisturizing feel to it. It's not sticky at all but it gives me a white cast. It's just not for me. So if we had to rate this sunscreen out of four stars. Three and a half out of four stars. And only the half because Susan was like so-so about it. Yeah, and that's about it. I mean, still a sunscreen. Definitely I'd use try. it. I, I would still use it. I'm gonna be using it because I already opened it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Dr. Dennis Gross. All physical, lightweight, wrinkle defense, broad spectrum, SPF 30. I loved it. I was a little skeptical at first, but I actually really do love it. We are going to start on one side right here, you know, really working on in. What I really like about this SPF right here that it feels lightweight. So it does not feel heavy on the skin. It's also oil free, which is really, really nice. So if you're somebody that is like looking for an oil free SPF, this definitely is that girl. Don't forget the nails. Never forget your neck. It is really amazing, but it did not leave my skin feeling greasy or heavy. This is one of those sunscreens that you need to like rub in and then press into the skin. Cause first time out the bottle, I put a little too much. And if you put a little too much, it can be a little, it'll be a little messy. But how did you feel about it? Like, what were your opinions? Like, what were your thoughts? I have different thoughts about this sunscreen. Oh. I am so sorry, Dr. Dennis Gross. I do not like this sunscreen. I feel like a grease ball when I have it on. I basically can't wear any makeup on top of this. I find that it just like melts right off my face. I don't like this applicator at all. I find that you're almost like fighting with it to get the sunscreen out. I also just feel like it left a layer on my face. So when I say that a sunscreen can leave a layer that makes me feel like I'm gonna break out because of it, this, this is what I'm talking about. No. Mm -mm. I happen to like the applicator. <laughs> I felt like it's like nice. Like, you know, it's kind of giving you very much like scientific, like I'm putting in some type of solution mix type of deal, but I don't mind it, but I, I can understand that this could be an issue for some people. Yeah, see? I can appreciate that if you are a drier skin type or you're not someone with a fear of breakouts like me, how this would be very nice. Cause it is, the fluid is nice. It is. It's really, really beautiful. And it just like melts into the skin, which I really, really love. Felicia from the team tried it as well. She was not a fan of it. I'm really excited about the sunscreen. Terrell said that he did not have a white cast with it, so we have high hopes. And everyone said that it was super lightweight, so I'm excited for that too. Here we go. All right, so just gonna get a bunch of my hand. Looks pretty good. Already I can tell that it's very lightweight. It's very like silky. I love that. I love a lightweight sunscreen, especially in the summer, because like I said, I'm glowy, not greasy. Uh, so my skin gets super sweaty and oily and can feel heavy, especially when I'm wearing a lot of heavy sunscreens and moisturizers. So I 
I love that this one's lightweight. Hopefully, the more that I rub it in, the white cast kind of disappears. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go for 10 minutes, let this set in, and see if this white cast changes at all. So I'm back with the Dr. Gross after 10 minutes. It is very white casty. My roommate actually said that this sunscreen makes it look like I'm wearing powder on my face, and I feel like the purple tinge really brings out the discoloration and my dark under eye circles. It's giving me lifeguard, you know, that white nose streak, white cast vibes. This is a, uh, this is not it for me. The funniest part is that after Felicia tried this sunscreen, her roommate told her it looked like she had baby powder on her face. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna have to figure something out here. You might be alone. I might be alone. I'm, I'm the standalone <laughs> ranger with the Dr. Dennis Gross right here. But wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There might be somebody that had like there. Somebody with a little bit of pull. A, a little Susan bit Yara. of pull. Miss <laughs> Susan. Okay, so trying out the Dr. Dennis Gross. I like this texture. This applicator is interesting. Feels very nice and fluid. I like this. Feels good. Very nice texture. So it feels very nice, very hydrating. No white cast. There's this light coming off that makes it look like there might be, but there's not. I'll turn the light off so you guys can see. Mm, this feels really good. Very hydrating. Reminder, I have dry skin. So while I like the hydrating feel of this, not everybody will, but I like it. With this rating, folks, it is going to be a two out of four stars. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. My sunscreen still works. You can keep it. Yes, I will keep it for sure. So now we have the Bliss Block Star right here. What is up with these SPF 30s? Like, is anybody thinking about a 50 somewhere? Well, it's no. probably my one critique, like across the board for the three that we've tried, is I feel like they're kind of low for SPF. Yeah. I feel like everybody just was like, let's just stay in the very like 30 bare minimum mark mm -hmm. and don't scare people. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Bliss. She's got a tint. Mm. She smells interesting. Yeah, so I find this super comfortable to wear. I thought it blended in very nicely. Definitely like takes a second to like work it in, but once you work it in, I think it's very nice. I think it worked with my weird undertones. Light, light, light layer, but not that bad. Probably the lightest of all the ones in my opinion in this video. Once you get past the weird fragrance, I kind of love this. My thoughts on this lovely sunscreen from Bliss. It did not work for me and I would have loved for it to work with me. I tried it several different ways on how to like apply it. I put it on the back of my hand and I thought that, hey, you know what? It's gonna work. It's, it's gonna do the job on my face. But that was not the case. <laughs> I put it on my face and it said, no ma'am, no ma'am. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how this is going. <laughs> hey! It's Casper's cousin. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm trying to really like work it in. I'm just on my neck. <laughs> Help! I look as she, as she, as she, as she, as she, as she. What the hell? This is why I do not like matte mineral sunscreens because got me out here looking crazy, looking. Let's get ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, on to the next. This sunscreen is definitely not as like creamy or smooth to apply as some of the other ones. Like I found that the Super Goop was super creamy and super smooth. This one's a little tougher. Yeah, it's a bit drying. Yes. It is a bit drying. Once I actually like got it on and it was pressed into my skin, I truly didn't really feel an intense layer on my skin. Okay, I just saw ash in the goatee hair. I was just like, I, I even tried to press it in. I was like, it's not going in. It also has a very interesting smell. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, that's the it's word. It's a very I mean. interesting, acquired smell, we would like to say. Who else had liked it? Did Susan like it too? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the Bliss Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. This isn't a first impression. I already know I like this stuff. This is more my jam when it comes to mineral sunscreens. I prefer tinted mineral sunscreens when I'm gonna wear them. And I really like this one. I wish it wasn't just SPF 30. I'd probably suggest it a lot more. 
If it was a little bit of a higher SPF, even if it was like SPF 40, I'd probably recommend it more, but I'm gonna be inside all day today, so this is perfectly fine. This is more like a BB cream in some ways. It has this tint you can see, but it's actually a really sheer tint. And you would think that, you know, because it's only one universal color, universal, <laughs> you would think that it might not work on all skin tones, but you can even see just on my hand, it pretty much matches my skin. So of course I'm gonna like this. I also just love the texture. I have dry skin, so I like, you know, a little bit of a creamy texture as well, so. This is what it looks like on. It does have a lavender, probably lavender essential oil, I'm gonna assume, because you can smell it, which I know some people don't love, but I don't mind it at all. My melasma is really popping right now, so I really appreciate a nice little tint to my sunscreen. Even if I'm just gonna be inside, it makes my skin look a little bit better. So that's what it looks like on my face. I don't even need to let it sit for 10 minutes to show you guys. It's just so nice. It looks so pretty. I love it on my skin. All right, so I'm gonna be trying the Bliss Block Star. So off the top, this orangey tan tint. I'm not a fan of tints like this for sunscreen. They tend not to work out on my skin tone. And it's pretty thick too, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But let's give it a shot. I'm gonna dot it all over my face so it's a little bit easier to spread around. It doesn't feel greasy. It's almost like powdery. And it has a bit of an earthy smell, but it's not too bad. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It smells like... Earthy. This tint is actually working out for me. I'm very surprised. There's no white cast and it actually feels really nice and light on the skin, surprisingly, because it's a very thick texture, but it feels nice and light, doesn't feel greasy. I have oily skin or tend to get very oily, especially in the summer, but this feels very matte, almost like a, a satin matte finish. We gotta give this one a rating. Do we? You're gonna get outvoted. Clearly, because I, I am thumbs down. Sorry. But I think it gets a three out of four. It Me, does. Felicia, Susan. Yep, it gets a three out of four. Out. I am the odd man out, but that's okay though. That is totally okay. The block star is still a star. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you happen to like this video, please comment below and let us know if you want more sunscreen videos like this and for us to test out other sunscreens too as well. It could be chemical, it could be mineral sunscreen. We're down. And if you've tried any of the sunscreens that we talked about, let us know in the comments. Yes. And make sure you find me on social media at Terrell Britton and Carly. At Carly Rivlin. Everywhere. All at the socials. All the socials, girl. And we want you guys to have a beautiful day. Bye.